If you're at all compelled about the longevity and expansion of the Miz T Show, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Links below. Hey there, fools. Big T here with another video. And this video is kind of a follow up to a video I did a little over a month ago talking about, you know, YouTube uh, basically trying to kill small channels. Um, I was talking about how my uh, my view counts have just dropped off a cliff out of nowhere, basically. And uh, I was under you know the impression that with new uh, YouTube's new policies that maybe my channel has been affected where, uh, uh, you know, the whole Logan Paul situation, um, the continued nonsense from him and channels like uh, PewDiePie and things that they said and how they've been slapped on the wrist and uh, they have come up with all these new rules basically that only hurt smaller channels because just like Wall Street back during the uh, banking crisis 2008 uh, on YouTube now there are channels that are basically too big to fail uh, they're making YouTube too much money they're making Google too much money and uh, you know they act like they'll you know there's gonna be consequences but th these guys get basically slapped on the wrist and uh, and you know only channels that get affected are the smaller channels and uh, shout out to Nia the video game her uh, she did a video a few days ago uh, where she found some footage of an interview from people from YouTube talking about you know what they do and how they do it and um, I'm gonna leave a link to her video uh, in the suggested and in the uh, description below so make sure you check her video out it's fantastic uh, she basically is the reason I'm doing this follow-up video because I hadn't uh, come I hadn't been privy to this new information uh, this interview from uh, about YouTube and their policies and how they implement you know you know their how they basically how YouTube works now um, and it basically these guys basically confirmed in the interview that they are suppressing views on uh, youtubers and uh, it was just so strange because I don't know if the interviewer herself is a part of YouTube or Google or anything like that I probably should have looked more into the video uh, beforehand uh, but it was so funny because she talked you know she asked him a question she asked the guy a question and he basically said that they don't uh, automatically uh, put all you know all the videos of your subscribers all, all the all your videos out there for your subscribers to see basically um, you know, if you subscribe to a channel, you'll get um, a subscription feed, and uh, usually their videos will show up. But they say that no, they don't do that. And their bogus reason why is that they don't want to spam users with content, with videos all over the place, which is complete hey, bullshit, because they don't mind spamming you with recommended videos. Uh, when you watch a video, just look on the right hand side. There's a bunch of videos that are recommended to you um, Obviously, that's not your subscription box, but if you subscribe to somebody You want their videos. I mean, <laughs> I mean isn't that the reason to subscribe to somebody so you don't miss their videos? That's the point you like the content that you saw somewhere, you know in viewing them and you click that subscribe button which is not something people you know do all the time they are compelled to do so from the content they see and so they, they want more content from that person and they don't want to miss the videos so subscriptions is how you know you become a basically a hardcore fan of a channel because you can watch somebody's videos without subscribing to them but once you hit that subscribe button that means you've enjoyed them enough to where yeah I want to rock out with these guys daily or whenever they put up videos so basically you know they say you have to hit the bell to basically be in the hardcore of the subscribers which is complete nonsense um, and it just goes to show you that 
YouTube doesn't care about smaller channels anymore. They just don't care. They, I don't know if it's a bandwidth thing or if it's a, they're trying to shed some, you know, server space or whatever they're doing because if you think about it, I'm gonna I'm gonna dive a little deeper into it. Then I don't know if uh, Nia even thought about this stuff when she was making her video, but I'm gonna connect some more dots here. Um, if you remember, there was a new policy not too long ago about having to have 4,000 views or something in a month or something like that, and a certain amount of subscribers uh, to be partnered. And if you think about it, if you're a new channel, you're just starting out, um, or maybe you've a channel that's been around a while, and you know you don't upload crazy, you know, too much. Maybe you upload a couple of videos a month, and you know, so it's it's hard for you to have like to be gauged in what your heart's core subscriber base is because you don't upload a whole lot already. So you're not spamming anybody in the first place. So for them to suppress your subscribers to the hardcore, you know, to to base them only on the hardcore viewers. That suppresses you even more because you don't put up a whole lot of videos and so how are they to decide who your hardcore viewers are you and so you have no ability to grow because you grow by more people watching you if more people watch you and hit the like button maybe people who don't you know normally watch you that's how your subscriber base grows because maybe somebody else who watches that person um, will watch your video or you ended up in suggested or you hit the algorithm uh, you know jackpot <laughs> on YouTube so it's like it seems like these things strung together are used to suppress smaller channels um, they want to and they've done that to me I've talked about it in a video they want to uh, discourage you or um, demotivate you into making content with these new rules and if you're not growing see it's one thing to say well I'm, i don't want to make videos if i'm not making money you know that's one thing but i didn't, I didn't come to youtube to be famous i came to youtube to share my point of view have fun meet other gamers you know talk about uh my my passion for nintendo like and but if nobody's you know watching your video that will demotivate you. It's not about money, it's about um, engagement. If nobody's engaged to your channel, you're not gonna be engaged to spending time making videos. It's pretty simple. So if you're being purposely suppressed to making videos, you're being demotivated by YouTube, who's supposed to be trying to, you would think, trying to help you grow, because it helps them grow. But I'm putting like these things together, I'm like, they are, they're basically trying to shed channels, you know? Yeah, they had the two big to fail channels who can do no wrong, and no matter what they do, uh, they get slapped on the wrist, and everybody else, you know, uh, everybody else suffers from it. And it's complete bullshit. And it's like, I, I noticed something else today that to me feels like a whole, a part of this whole thing. I'm sure everybody's noticed how much and how hard YouTube, Google has been pushing YouTube Red, YouTube Red content, because YouTube decided they wanted to be, you know, Am an Amazon streaming service, or they want to be Netflix, or something like that. So this whole YouTube Red thing was something they just started pushing, you know, they pushed, started pushing what, uh, you know, half a year ago, you know, within a year, half a year ago, they started pushing YouTube Red, so every time... Every other time you click a video, it's like, you want to try YouTube Red for free? And you, there's nothing you can do. You're going to keep getting those notices. But here's something else I noticed uh, today. Um, you know, YouTube always updates their apps and all that stuff. And um, I remember before, uh, maybe a few years ago, where I could watch a YouTube video on my, my iPhone or my iPod. And I could, you know, uh, you know, hit the sleep or whatever where I wouldn't have to, like, actually have my phone open and playing a video which you know obviously kills more of your battery um probably costs you more um uh you know, you know uh, data from your your phone service or whatever 
Um, and I was able to like, you know, basically play it like I was playing an MP3 on my phone, playing a music file or whatever on my on iTunes or something. I could play it, play it from the the um, the startup screen, you know, without having to open the phone. You know what I'm talking about. So I could play a video. You just hear the audio. You didn't have to see the video. But now I saw this today. I couldn't believe it. Um, I wanted to do that. You know, I haven't done it in a while. And I was wondering why it went away. And now I know why it went away. Because basically, YouTube will allow you to do that again. Something that they allowed everybody to do for free. Um, at least on iPhones. I don't know. And iPads and iPods. I don't know about any other phone. But at least on iPhone, you could play a video. If you just want, if you listen to a podcast or something. If you want just to hear the podcast, you didn't want to watch it. You can have your phone, you know, dark. And still be able to play it and hear the audio. Now, they're saying... I saw a thing where it popped up and said, if you want to be able to play that, play this if you, a YouTube video or anything like that uh, without, you know, having to unlock your phone and have your phone open, you can try, you can have that service with YouTube Red. And I was like, wow. And it just all came full circle. So it's all about them pushing their paid content onto subscribers. That's all they care about. They care about the big channels too because they bring in stupid revenue for them. And so they'll put up with nonsense from them. And they're shedding the smaller channels because it's basically we're not worth <laughs> you know, their time and their bandwidth and their server space. We're not worth it for them. And they're trying to shed people. And it's just pretty despicable and disheartening. And I really wish that somebody else would step up to play Amazon because they because YouTube wants to be Amazon, Google wants to be Amazon. I wish Amazon would step up and and give Google a challenge, give YouTube a challenge with a you know a user created you know website, user content created website for videos just like YouTube, and challenge them in that aspect and. Do you know? Do what Sega did when they came with the 16, with the uh, Genesis, basically, and said, "We don't. We, basically, we're not gonna have any rules. We want, you know, people to come. We want, you know, basically developers to develop for our console. So we'll, we'll cut back on everything just to get you guys to come over. And I, I wish they would do that and steal. <laughs> you know, a guy would be one of the first people to jump ship and be on board for that. And uh, because that's what this is what happens when you have a monopoly, basically a monopoly on something. And it's it's just hard to pull people away from something they're so used to. You know, pe people been using YouTube for 10 plus years and uh, it's going to be hard to pull people away from that. But if you have a viable challenger with some money behind them, uh, this kind of stuff can change. And it's just it's sad because YouTube uh, was. It was a way to broadcast yourself. Remember, that was the mantra. Broadcast yourself, YouTube. And it's so far away from that. It's so corporate now. And it's so sad because it's like that quote. Um, I think it was from uh, The Dark Knight where live long enough and you become the villain. And YouTube has become the institution. It was the anti-establishment. Now it has become the institution. And I just wish somebody else would come along and give a place for artists to breathe and do and grow and have fun and do what they want without all this corporate BS that's happening on YouTube right now. And uh, yeah, so I just want to give you guys some insight on, you know, part of the motivation factor for making YouTube videos is not about money. It's about growth. People want people to hear them, especially if they spend a lot of time making videos, they write for their videos, or they, you know, do visual effects and all this kind of stuff. And to have YouTube openly, actively, without shame, suppressing viewership, suppressing these are people who subscribe to you, and they're not actively trying to promote your videos to people who subscribe to you. Like, and then, like, I wanted to say that the girl who was interviewing them, once she heard that, you know, that answer from him, she was like, yeah, yeah, I understand that. And you can tell it was completely 
false. <laughs> she did not understand that. And she said it in a way where she didn't want to, um, I guess, um, insult her uh, insult her interviewees. And that's why I said I don't know if she actually worked for YouTube or if they just hired her to be the interviewer for this uh, setup. But you could tell that she was not cool like she, she she was pretending that she was cool with it and that she understood but she did not understand it you could tell by the way she delivered her oh yeah i i understand you know what i'm saying like you when people talk to you that way and say something to you that way um they're being nice <laughs> and she was just being nice because it didn't make any sense to her for somebody to have and what's the point of having a subscription subscribers why not just have Oh, click the notification bell if you want more videos from me. Why even have subscribers? Like, it doesn't make sense if you're not going to show those subscribers uh, a person's videos, who they subscribe to. You, like I said, you subscribe to somebody, you actively decided, I want more content from that person. And YouTube says, nope. You know, we'd rather spam you with the videos we want you to see and not the videos you want to see from people you subscribe to and it's just bullshit and it's demotivating but i'm going to try to hang in <laughs> and hope things change or something or hope you know even through this my channel picks up some way because i was actively you know getting 1500 2000 views um for a while in my videos i have 5000 plus subscribers so you know i was happy with a third of people viewing my content that's basically what you get most of the time and they cut that over half by not sharing or not putting my videos in my subscribers feed and i hear that all the time well i haven't seen your videos i thought you didn't even make videos anymore and how is that good for youtube how is that good for viewership it's bullshit and they know it and it is what it is folks so yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments below thank you for watching and listening as always and i'll see you fools next time peace out